Natasha, thank you. Happening today, Governor Lamont announcing stepped up state police patrols. They're designed to, among other things, prevent wrong-way drivers. That's right. A wrong-way crash in West Haven killed four people early Sunday. News 8's Kent Pierce, live for us along I-95, where it happened with the latest on this news conference this morning. Good morning, Kent. Lauren Keith, good morning to you. It was the it was a nightmare for drivers. What happened right here early Sunday morning? Imagine a truck coming at you the wrong direction in the middle of I-95 in the middle of the night. It happened right here at exit 42 early Sunday. And today, Governor Lamont announcing changes in the state police designed to prevent wrong way crashes just like that. Police say somehow 26 year old Kyle Bulkley of New Haven drove his Chevy Silverado onto I-95 in the wrong direction. He had three of he and three of the five people in the Nissan he hit are now dead. For several years now, the state's been trying to prevent drivers from getting on to highway off ramps. More and more of those ramps have sensors and bright lights that flash warning signs as people are going the wrong way. If someone enters the highway in the wrong direction, if they enter an on ramp, that technology will activate and we have its recorded system. It will hopefully help them self correct. And today, Governor Lamont is announcing what else the state is doing to try to prevent those wrong way crashes. He's adding patrols to the traffic services division of the state police. They're going to target the busiest highways looking for bad and erratic driving. Most wrong way drivers are also driving under the influence. So the hope is they can stop the drivers who should not be on the road at all before they get on the road going in the wrong direction. That announcement from the governor expected this morning at 10 a.m. in Rocky Hill. Live in West Haven, I'm Kent Pierce. Back to you.